And if you're a theater goer in the New Orleans area, chances are that you've seen a play that starred Edward R. Cox. But on stage activities are only part of his repertoire, as Stepanat's Lisa Bakke shows us. If you were to look up the definition of multi-talented in the dictionary, you might see a snapshot of New Orleans actor Edward R. Cox. Through the years, Eddie has taken on countless roles. During his high school days in the 1970s, Eddie starred in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown at Brother Martin and had the role of Herbie in Gypsy at Mount Carmel. If you recall Merlin Rainbow at Pontchartrain Beach, that was Eddie, too. Eddie writes original plays, such as this shoestring player's performance of Bayou Yaga. He not only wrote the script, but he performed on stage, designed the set, created the costumes and props, and oversaw every aspect of the show. Well, that's the joy of doing family entertainment, at least quality family entertainment. You write something that you've got to reach all different levels and age groups so that the youngest or the oldest can enjoy it, and the oldest who pay for the tickets want to come see it again and bring the children back. In New Orleans doesn't have enough quality family entertainment being created originally any longer. We had original shows being created every month. There was a wealth of creativity that's just not had in New Orleans. And I think probably till my dying day, I'm probably going to continue trying to do this kind of theater. It's just too important for the community. Stacy Taliancic performed in Bayou Yaga and teaches drama at St. Philip Neri School in Metairie. I've worked with Edward for shoestring, uh, Porta Puppets, and also at St. Philip. And I also do costume design and mask design, so I work with Eddie a lot on that. He's a great mentor to me because he can show me all these tricks he knows, how to make all these different things so easy and simple, but they look incredible. So thank you, Eddie. Vatican Loki has worked with Eddie for 13 years, acting and creating sets and puppets for shows geared to school-age children. Nothing happens without Edward's involvement. He really does put all of his knowledge and expertise into everything that he works on. That's the real magic about working with Edward Cox. You, you see his actors, they go with what he has given them and turn it into their own, and the audiences react, the other actors react, and it becomes what theater has always been meant to be, a living, breathing entity. Eddie works in the Performing Arts Department with Kate Arthurs at St. Martin's Episcopal School. He was thrilled to perform recently with some of his students in Disney's Beauty and the Beast for the Jefferson Performing Arts Society. There's nothing He defines his craft with one word. Edutainment. And if you're educating them through entertainment and on all levels and all ages, that's the magic of theater. Performing, directing, designing, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm doing those aspects or in any combination for the community, I'm ecstatic. And check out Edward's website for his upcoming activities. It's Edward R at, excuse me, edwardr.theatricana.com. And we wish him well. I, I think he was talking about perhaps moving to Florida for some other opportunities, but uh, we hope that he can stay in New Orleans at least part of the time, too. Best I of do, luck. I hope he stays, too. Yeah. I was privileged to be in a play with him, and he did everything but direct it. He's I mean, so... in the sets, he did the props. He was wonderful on creating props, flying birds. He took, his imagination is limitless. Yes. He's a wonderful theater man. He really is. Oh, nice. And we have a regional premiere of a play.